And there's a look south down Jones Avenue. I was just waiting at the bus stop there and it said the next bus would be arriving in about 10 minutes and I waited 10 minutes. And then that bus never came and it said the next bus would be in another 15 minutes. So instead of heading down to Leslieville and doing a walk, I'm going to pivot and we'll do a walk through Greektown. There you can see, welcome to Greektown on the sign. This is the eastern end of Greektown. And hello there, it is, what day is it? Sunday, <laughs> December 17th. The time is 3, 14 p.m. or pretty close to it. And the temperature right now is around six degrees Celsius. And as you can see, it is raining. And I was just in the area having lunch and my plan was to take the bus down to Queen Street East. But I'll go back and do that route another day. There's the Maple Leaf Sports Bar and Grill. It's been a while since I've been out recording in the rain. And I think I'll just head east along Danforth Avenue here to Broadview Avenue. And that'll be that. This wing stop is used to be a pizza pizza. I have yet to try wing stop. Exotic French Creole cuisine. Maybe I'll be a bit less chatty than usual. And much of this next block it's been expropriated by Metrolinx. This place here, the Eaton House, was here for a very long time. And they've closed their doors, same with this very popular Greek bakery, the Acropolis. Metrolinx needed this block for preparations for the Ontario subway line. Here's where I had lunch. I was there last week as well. I quite like that place, the Momo House. I never see anyone in there. But it's quite excellent. It's about $12.99 for an order of Momos that will more than fill up one person, or at least me. There's another 
well-known local establishment that had to close down Hunter's. That used to be a good brunch spot. And we're at Pape Station. There's a proposal for a 49-story tower. Right on this block and just north of here is Pape Station. Excellent driving. Yielding to pedestrians is optional in this city. There's where that 49-story tower will go if approved, although local residents are up in arms about it. But if you're not going to build density steps from a subway line, where are you going to build it? And there's Pape Station. As mentioned, at some point in the very distant future, there'll be two lines served by this intersection. Pape Foodland, that's the closest thing to a supermarket in this area. Or I guess within immediate walking distance, there is a Loblaws west of here, just south of Broadview, or on Broadview. And she used to work there and she brought me There's some more excellent driving, just parked right in the bike lane. There's a place across the street. I've been curious about these places. They've popped up all over the city, so I paid one a visit last night. I won't mention if I sampled one of their products, but interestingly, if you're curious, it was cash only and most items were priced at an even $50. We're at Carla Avenue.
see how the camera lens is holding up. It seems to be not wet, which is a good thing. I've eaten at this place before. Casa Manila. Ooh. There we go. This little square here features an excellent takeout great place called Alexandros. Last time I was here last week, or earlier this week actually, during, no, last week, it's Sunday. Being the first day of the week, of course. I started a live stream here and the first 15 seconds of that live stream got nabbed for a copyright violation due to that Christmas music they're playing. This is where the main Mezzes used to be. A very popular Greek restaurant. I think they're using that space for private events now. So they've moved into the old Papa's Grill location. Right here in the corner, and it looks like they've done a fantastic job renovating the property. There's Messini across the street. Main state of the area. And a great traditional breakfast slash brunch place, Stacks Pancake and Breakfast House. And just like that, we've come to the end of Greek Town. This is Chester Avenue. Here you can see the thank you for visiting sign. Chester Subway Station is just to the north here, which interestingly enough, does not have any regular bus service. It's the only one on the stretch of Danforth that doesn't. So when they close the line down, they just completely close that subway station. Kind of interesting. I don't think it has particularly high ridership numbers. It's kind of like Summer Hill, where if you had to purge a station, I think that might be a good candidate. And this area here is known as the Plater Estates.
I've ever really wandered down this little stretch here. The Big Carrot Natural Food Market. Yeah, it's supposed to be raining pretty much all throughout the day. I think on Tuesday, they are calling for light snow. It's been a while since we've had snow, which is weird since we're so far into December. Busy times at the LCBO liquor store here. Some tour buses pulling in from the Heffold Inn at the Danforth Music Hall. Last night, apparently, they had a Taylor Swift dance party there. I can't see the marquee. It says December 17th. The Menzingers.
There's the Bloor Viaduct straight ahead. That's where Danforth will turn into Bloor Street. I've been tempted to keep walking. This video is a bit on the shorter side. And a look south down Broadview Avenue. I think we'll keep it short and sweet. Let's head into Broadview Station where the buses and streetcars aren't turning into the station. In fact, no streetcars are even coming up this way yet. The street core, streetcar platform is still under repair. Here? Like on the other side? But you have to access the bus routes from the street. Yeah. Alright, let me get my umbrella away. Or at least fold it up. I don't know when this is going to be wrapped up. I'm going to head down to a westbound platform. Rather, the westbound platform. I say that as if there's multiple of them. Normally the 504 and 505 streetcars would be coming through here, but there is a combined route update for the replacement bus. And you have to pay close attention because that changes frequently. And since I'll be heading northbound at Blue or Young Station, I want to go all the way to the east of the platform here. That's next train in three minutes. So on that note, I want to thank you guys for watching this shorter than usual video. The channel may or may not be at 100,000 subscribers by now, but if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more Toronto content, you know what to do. Usually every morning at 9 a.m. EST, I drop a new video and premiere it, so if you want to hang out in the chat and watch it together, I'm usually there. Sometimes I'm sleeping. And if you want to know when I live stream, just hit the bell, and you'll be notified when those come up. They're quite random. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. There is a super thanks button appearing below if you wish to say thanks that way. And there are links to channel membership and Patreon tried to stall enough in hopes that I would catch the next train arriving. Oh well. This is the ultimate filler content right here. I don't think my zoom can get close enough. hear the rumble of a train. Spin around, camera.
This is absolutely riveting stuff. I'm gonna stop recording <laughs> as soon as I get on the train, but thanks for watching, guys. You know what? Let's leave the camera running. We get a nice view off the viaduct in a second. Thanks for watching, guys. Yoink.